the the focus remains on preparing organizations to move to the cloud and thinking about possible future challenges during this transition so adopting cloud technology can benefit company when when we start the migration process a detailed assessment is is necessary Hello, hello. We are back on Thought Hive, where we get all the insights from the world of tech. My name is Neerja, and we're talking to another expert today in the field of cloud migration and modernization. Let's welcome Mayuresh. Hi, Mayuresh. Welcome to the show. Hey, hi, Neerja. Yeah, thanks for thanks for inviting me. It's great to have you. So, Mayuresh, let me set the scene for you a little bit. Um, in the past, right, I've spoken with experts from CloudExchange.io who are passionate about cloud technologies across the entire spectrum. So, my first question to you is: How does one assist companies in transitioning from traditional technologies to digital and cloud tech? Yes, Nirja, you are correct, right? So, employees at CloudExchange.io are are you know very passionate about cloud technologies so we help organization you know to harness the power of cloud nowadays modern companies are shifting from traditional to digital platform and cloud technologies to stay competitive in a market so i am a cloud solution architect and like many cloud tech expert i help businesses their traditional workload to digital platform by analyzing their current application workload and moving them to the cloud so the the focus remains on preparing organizations to move to the cloud and thinking about possible future challenges during this transition so through through proper planning and detailed assessment cloud migration can become simple so through analysis we can, we can understand how ready a business is to move to the cloud and to, to be prepared for technical challenges so this is about the cloud readiness that we we do for the customers yeah Right I mean you mentioned transitioning and moving to cloud cloud migration so how does one do this what is the process of migration and how does it really benefit global organizations Yes Neeraj so let me let me begin with traditional landscape and why customer need to transition to the cloud right so in in in, in the traditional application landscape the significant workload is on infrastructure as a service that is iaas also organization often have to rely on different vendors to offer third party services platform as a services or a software as a services which they want to include in their application workload so adopting cloud technology can benefit companies as they use infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service on a single glass of pen so having all these three types of you know services on a single cloud platform can benefit them a lot so there are many benefits that a single cloud service provider can offer in many cases so customer want to migrate to cloud agnostic some so cloud agnostic vendor so like so when i say cloud agnostic so it it, it is a mixture of on premises and cloud or multiple clouds right and or any any open source tools so we also help with cloud agnostic platforms so we help customer to design the entire migration roadmap as per as per their need and following industry industry best practices so when when we start the migration process a detailed assessment is is necessary so when we collect there there we collect the basic source and platform details so when then we must conduct a decision draft se uh, session so in a decision draft session we we have all the subject matter experts and all the stakeholders which is required for this migration and assessment we have uh, we give get them all on a single call right and you know we 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 cover every component or every aspect of the source application and the infrastructure for for the discovery purpose right and to finalize the decisions so later we need to discuss how to modernize or replatform the services so as a cloud expert i i i suggest uh, replatforming infrastructure services to the platform as services or platform as services to saas so whenever possible you know to reduce the infrastructural cost and you know of course improving the performance so so for 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 an example some of my colleague you know recently worked Uh, you know did a critical migration for for one of our customer so where we migrated google apg 
to an api uh, you know a solution on aws so so google apg is a uh, you know deployed with a hybrid hybrid platform uh, hybrid uh, deployment strategy using you know google and uh, google and on premises so where you know the apg is installed on the uh, uh, kubernetes cluster at the data center and what we have done we did a detail assessment and then we have moved that uh, api apg to the aws api gateway so again api gateway is purely saas services right so we have done this critical you know uh, piece of migration for them and of course uh, of course the you know starting with the security landing zone platform which is necessarily you know to start with any any cloud platform to build a security foundational layer and then you know we we use the terraform infrastructure as a core you know to deploy the uh, entire services service stack you know so this is this is to test the pilot run and you know to modernize the architecture so these are some some of the basic steps we must follow during the cloud migration process Thank you for running us through that migration. While we're on the topic of migration, could you share uh, any recent successful migration and modernization projects that CloudExchange.io has been a part of in the recent past? Um, as we conclude this conversation, it would be great to hear about that. So, give us all the details. Yeah, of course, of course, definitely. Nirja, as an as an organization, we have a strong VFSI customer base. So I would say fintech customers we majorly working with. However, we also manage a large enterprise customers within manufacturing, education, and healthcare. So I I must say we have a go presence in a global market. So through through our association with NSID Group, we have experience in managing and ma ma migrate. getting fintech workloads which are which are very complex to critic and critical since they usually have a big big trading platform and mutual fund platform so basically those these platforms are uh, bread and butter for you know any any financial organization so one recent success uh, you know was when we you know completed a, a critical migration for top financial org organization within india which we strategically decided to move its trading platform to aws cloud so we help help Uh, help them to modernize their trading platform as a trusted partner with with re-platforming microservices, DevSecOps practices, and infrastructure uh, and infrastructure as core solutions. So we we also assisted the customer in picking a cloud native machine learning services within their applications front end and back end, improving you know so this machine learning and AI technologies are you know. uh very very fast emerging right and we we using them to you know improve the their application functionalities and the speed so so of course so for interested uh organization we can definitely share a demo please please get in touch with us at cloud info at cloudation.io we will will always happy to assist Thank you Mayuresh for giving us all the insights um that brings us to the end of this episode it was wonderful speaking with you and until next time stay safe and take care bye bye